Even before this pandemic, so much of our lives has gone virtual. When I was an adolescent, if I wanted to share a pic, I had to borrow a camera, take the picture, get prints, and then mail them with a stamp. Now everything's available like that before you can have a second thought. Let's go on a little journey, shall we? If you're dating, it makes sense that you would miss your partner <laughs> and your partner would miss you. We're human beings. We like being close. Hugs feel good. Kisses feel good. All of that is natural and normal and healthy. <laughs> and that's what we want to talk about today. Once upon a time, you and your boo were together forever. You could see it no other way. You miss each other when you're not near each other. So one day you ask them or they ask you for a pic that's normally something you would only share in private. But here's the thing. Once it's on someone else's phone and out there in cyberspace, it's out there forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Unlike the consent for a kiss that lasts only a moment and gives you the chance that if you don't like it or your feelings change later, you can change your consent next time. After all, consenting to a kiss does not give permanent rights to your lips, right? But consenting to a nude pic does give away permanent rights to that image. No take backs. And if one day, in a moment of hurt or anger, or even by accident, that image is shared, let's just say you don't want images of you floating in cyberspace that you'd feel humiliated if they one day land in someone else's message box. Yeah, that can happen. It's a different way of thinking about consent. One thing that remains the same, though, is listening to your comfort. If someone is making you feel uncomfortable with sexual messages or pressuring you for nude pics, you have every right to say no. Remember, once you send, there's no take backs. And if you aren't hearing, if they're not hearing and respecting your no, it's sexual harassment. And that's not all right. And if you don't feel ready to talk about it, then you're probably not ready to do it. And by it, I mean whatever it is you're not ready to talk about. 